Mumbo and Matilda will be the next band by Execration to respect Rexy's hero pick. Yes, and we're waiting on the next band by Evos here. Could it be uh, priority picks maybe focusing more towards uh, that jawhead or how, what do you think, Arashi? I think they might just go and deny some kind of early game protection from the side of Execration. Just so that if they do try and go for this early game aggression phase that they are very comfortable with, they might be able to have better success. 14, uh, and that jawhead band surfaces here from the side of EVOS and now we're waiting on the second ban by Execution. Definitely do not want that Jawhead on Chapman able to make a huge place we saw the other day. Crazy mechanics and crazy decision making knowing when to go in and who to target in those fights. Definitely not something EVOS wants to mess around with. Right, yes. and now for the side of Execration, what will they ban? Perhaps the Diki that is still at 100% used by LJ Ooh. previously. Perhaps also uh, high loss or no, that, that will still be, open. I think it will just be maybe a target ban towards Rexy more, maybe the Eve ban here because we do not want to see any Eves being picked here, Rexy yeah. still holding that 100% win rate on that Eve and Ooh. so does E2 Max with an 80% win Your rate, it will be Evos, an Estes ban, okay. Yes, we have an Estes ban here on the side of Execration. Not sure if that's a particular target or they're trying to protect a particular gameplay that the Estes Pac ban is planning. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about the Estes ban. I don't really like it because LJ still has a 0% win rate on that Estes. He picked it once before against Execration last time and it did not work out very, very well for them. But now for EVOS Legends, what will they target next? Will it possibly be the Herith for Kelra? Because we all know how dangerous this man is on Herith, or maybe the Lunox ban for Kelra as well. It can also be the Eve ban coming yeah. from Execration if they just want to get that out of the way. Remember guys, Benedetta is still open for the side of EVOS Legends. Your we saw Antimage lose bad. against that, but no, it will be the Ling targeting Keel Ooh. BJ, sitting okay. at a 66% win rate on that Ling right now. He has been performing insanely well on these assassins, especially the other day. So respecting the pressure coming from Kill BJ and his depth ability, knowing that it's very flexible for him, and he can actually you know make maneuvers when it really seems like there's no hope. So taking that away from Execration is a good idea. Yes, you're right, and we're waiting on the last ban here by Execration. Do you think it will be targeted to a particular member from Evos? My feeling, someone in the mid lane. It's just Harith, Lunox, and Eve still being opened. It's really risky, guys, at this stage. I think Benedetta is still open. Benedetta. I think Benedetta they're going to either well, Benedetta yeah. or they might just ban the Paquito. Like Coach Ducky say. said, they do not want to see Anti Mage on this Paquito. Oh, but we will we see go. for the final ban by Execration. What will it be? Drum roll, Drum please. Roll, and it is the Paw Paul oh, and Koopa, Koopa. respecting okay. LJ right okay. now, who still has actually a 0% win rate, funnily enough. Oh, Rexy is the one who has 100, and it will be the E pickup for mm. Rexy, who still has 100%. Still very successful on this hero. Execration now, looking for a response. I think they're going to pick up the glue for Renzio. And the Harith, perhaps. Yeah, I think it's uh, those two heroes will be picked by the side of Execration, or perhaps we will see something from E2 Max. Maybe the Benedetta, oh, okay. like we mentioned earlier. Uh, if they do pick the Benedetta, who is going to play it? Because Kelra and Renzio, we haven't seen any Benedetta games from them, but the Lunox will most probably go for Kelra. So it is Renzio on this on Benedetta, and wow, they already have the Benedetta picked up by the side of Execration. I think this is perfect for Evo's Legends. How so? Let's go for the Paquito pick, man. Yeah. Give Anti-Mage his Paquito. Going against the Benedetta in lane, he will have more kill pressure here. And he'll, he'll open up the map, map way more with that kill pressure. Isn't there a chance that the Benedetta will go to kill VJ, perhaps? As some kind of, again, switch maneuver to see we how have seen that he before. has that used that. that. We he have has seen that used before. that. We have seen that before. You're right. And it Evo's Legends. Option. I don't know. If Evo Legends decides to go for a Granger pick, then just kite this Benedetta. It would be really good for them. I really think Ooh. Harith, okay, okay, Harith will be picked up first, obviously, and yes. Isaac Zen, the Paquito, okay. but remember, nice, this nice, Paquito nice. can go to the tank position, it right. is also a flex pick, mm -hmm. LJ hasn't found success on the Paquito tank, but no. it is still a pick that is, I, I should say, comfortable for him, because he has picked it two times here in MSC, but we will see, the Harith pickup for Clover versus the Lunox, though, we saw this matchup before, Lunox dominated the lane, and always and Kelra got an amazing game there in game number one against Evo's Legends back in the upper bracket. 
and uh, I do not know, maybe there's still signs of trauma here for, <laughs> for Evo's no. Legends as this Lunox was just too much for them to handle in their game against Execration. We'll see now though, Execration for their final pick, I think it is going to be the Glue or the Kufra. It oh, will just be the Glue okay. or Renzio. Okay, and now we're waiting on the second phase of the Bannon pick session, waiting on two bans by Execration and two bans for Evos. Who do you think this will be targeted towards? Perisic Another and kill VJ. Uh, assassin? It's going to be kill VJ? No, actually, no. All right, since Blue has been picked up, uh -huh. it will be better to go into the jungle. So it is going to be E2 okay. Max and Chaknu getting targeted here. Probably the Kufra ban and the Akai ban. Right, okay. Wanting him right. to go for the Grok, perhaps. Uh -huh. But Although again, we, we didn't see a lot of success from E2 Max the other day, so the ban might go towards him as well. The thing is, they already have the Sleeve okay, ban away. Okay, we have the ban. Estes ban has... The SS ban has come through, so uh -huh. has the Selena, and Eve has been picked. Those are the three heroes that E2 Max likes to play. He, the only hero that he has played before that isn't those three heroes is Vale. That's true, yes. Mm. So right now, it is looking very, very slim for E2 Max. We will see if Coach Jace uses this data and tries to ban the Vale, but I think it's just way too expensive. I think they will put the bans for someone else like Chaknu, a guy who is very well known for the playmaking powers here. For sure. Again, we said we mentioned how how detrimental Chaknu could be to the victory of yeah. Evo. So definitely something that the players themselves recognize. I mean, here we go. A few seconds left on the clock for a ban, first ban from Evos here. Who it will it be? And it Grok. will be that Grok. So yes, okay. you're wow. right. Forcing a Grok ban. Targeted from... to towards Chaknu here. Mm -hmm. The Grok ban comes through. The next ban will most probably be. The Akai, because it can disrupt a lot of things happening here. The Zaman Force knocking the Herith away from Is the Zaman from Force. The size of e knocking Eve away from her real world manipulation as well. Will execution ban out the Faramis because it does. It is a counter and it is. It is a counter. It is still usable here if LJ decides to play that Faramis, but I think it's very unlikely here as Evo's Legends, they do not really. They haven't played a single game of Faramis before, Faramis, whereas right. for the side of Execration, for the side of. Even Blacklist, we have seen that before, and it will be, oh, but will the be Baron and Baron will be correct though, as they respect this pressure, they were able to beat Glue mm -hmm. yesterday with the Faramis pick, they know exactly how strong this is, so the ban will just be out of respect here, mm -hmm. but none of Fair Six's heroes has been taken away from him, Ranger is still open, Eason Shin is still open for him. And oh. also Lancelot, guys. Right, so there's a lot of options left for Evo, so have a bit of an advantage although i wasn't sure as you mentioned we're not sure if they were actually going to pick the pyramids it was an option for sure but you know forcing forcing that out from the ban of execution is quite beneficial for the set of evos yes you're super right here and now we're waiting on the last ban by akai. evos i think it akai? just might be the akai uh, yeah is it the akai was that the akai voice line the no it is the Kufra. Kufra. okay yep. so they are basically telling execration right now Pick Go ahead, pick it. Pick the Akai. We have to purify for both of our carries here, for Eve and for Herith. I mean, considering that there, there are two members on the Evo so far that cast a lot of mobility, a lot of dashes, I guess picking out the Kufra is a bit more beneficial than picking out the Akai as well for Evos. Might that also hint that they actually need one more dashes in their team as well, so maybe an Assassin for Fairsick. Yeah, you're maybe right. Maybe an Assassin for Fairsick, maybe a Marksman for Fairsick. We will... For now, I, I'm relying more... I'm leaning more towards Evo is picking a marksman because they want to play maybe in the late game there because they already have the Kido oh, and Kaja. Oh, okay. Right. We, we have seen Chaku on now, Kaja before. Now that I say we that, have. now we that have. I say that, I think it is confirmed. I don't think they're going to play the assassin. They go in, gets mm -hmm. caught out, instant death. I think yeah, they're going for a more over. front to back up position here. LJ, show us what you got. Show us some hero that can just Disrupt, go for a flashy hero because I do not want to see LJ play the Megiddo again, alright? I just do not want to see this. It hasn't been successful. I think if they double down on this, it will be very, very fatal to the mentality of the players here in Evo's Legends. And they're going to have a bunch of damage coming in from the Eve and the Herod in the late game from a, uh, a good amount of distance in the back line. So a good front line could deny a lot of Yes, oh, okay. there you go. Okay. Yes. It will be LJ playing the Paquito, guys, and Lancelot. Oh. Guys, I do not like. Paquito, LJ playing the Paquito once again. I really wonder why. Why they keep on forcing him to play this Paquito even though he's sitting at a 0% win rate, guys. No success whatsoever no, with that Paquito no. tank and execration now with the Kaja pick already. What will they pick finally for E2 Max? It will most probably be the Veil because Veil is really good against mm -hmm. the Paquito.
know who jumps in? The Lancelot and the Lapu Lapu plus the Harith. The that only damage. one that he can't do damage to is Heave in the backside. And yeah. I think Bale is perfect here. But oh, no, they need a little bit Farsa. more range. So they will pick up the Farsa. Not just the range, but also the late game pressure because they only have... Lunox there before the Farsa pick, but now the Farsa joining in, it will be two late game heroes yeah. for the side of Execration. And now for the drafts, guys, give me your honest opinions for the drafts. I'll ask you first, Eterna. I don't like that Lancelot into that Kaja, so I'm going to go for Execration here. Okay, one Execration, Rashi. Logically speaking, I think Execration has the advantage as far as drafts go. Two Execration, and I will also agree, guys. Three Execration, unanimous decision here, because I feel Execration, if they're able to pull off the early game very well here with the Kaja yeah. and also the Benedetta, get a lot of pressure with the Farsa as well. I think they just might snowball this game. And again, like you said, Lancelot, if he goes in, not like last time, he can't be the one opening the fights. And LJ with this Bakito doesn't do a lot of damage and isn't super tanky. Yeah. So we will just see how the game goes here in game number one of our lower bracket finals. Ladies and gentlemen, put your predictions in the comments because this will be a, a spicy game. But unfortunately, we will <laughs> have a pause right as we start. Now, since we have a little bit more time, Arashi, give us some analysis. Why do you think, why is it a unanimous decision here? for execration based on the drafts. I mean, as you mentioned, it was kind of forced to actually funnel down into into the side of execration. And they do have a very strong frontline that's able to actually stop, you know, the, the aggression in, in that crew. Mm -hmm. And one, once they're actually stopped like that, they do have the Farsa, they have the Lunox, they have a bunch of follow-up available to just punish the members of EVOS if they come to quite a good fight. So if they don't get like a, a jump or like a surprise, onto the side of Execration, it gets very difficult for them to actually get any advantage uh, by default in the fight. Yeah. Oh, there is a ping issue here for the side of Evo's Legends. As you can see, it is anti-mage reconnecting to the game, loading into the game, whereas everyone else is already in the game paused. So we will see from anti-mage, once he gets shot into the game, it will be unpaused. And right now, it looks like he has. It's just a little bit of more discussions here, waiting for the ping to go down, perhaps in the Evo's Legends gaming hell perhaps because they don't have smart 5g guys i think that's mm. the case that's i think that big, is the a, case that's a big difference execration yeah. they have smart 5g and four evos legends no <laughs> absolutely not so absolutely not. Uh, as i was saying so they do have a lot of advantage in the early game though in the big with the picks with lj on the paquito even though we did mention that he hasn't been performing really well on mm -hmm. that so far it, 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 it is a very strong hero in the early game so they can make plays with that but it doesn't seem like the rest of the people in Execration actually are going to be struggling too hard to deal with that kind of aggression. Yeah, you're right. It looks like it's actually Clover's phone here being uh, worked on, Arashi. Oh, I think there might be some connection issues actually, not from Anti-Mage, but also from Clover. Not just from Anti-Mage, but actually also from Clover here as they're trying to get the ping low. It seems like he will restart the game right there, but again, like you mentioned earlier, it is still... I think Execration has a better composition because certainly they just countered every single hero from the side of Evo's Legends. That's the, thing. the Kaja counters the Lancelot and also the dive from Bakito, right? Bakito, again, with the. This used to be a very good pick in a tank position because he has a lot of base damage now right. after the nerfs. He has, like, very low, but not very low base damage, still very good for a laner who builds extra damage who can scale and build damage as well but now a person who is building full tank on this paquito doesn't do as much damage as before and i think that'll hurt him a lot and that has been the case in the past two games that we have seen this paquito played on the tank position by evo's legends i mean it, it's better for uh, for like pick situations right getting just a knock up and you know some some damage and backing off so he so does have good utility he does have utility but the issue is i don't is think he does have good utility okay. he has one knockout strike that that's the only knockup he has that's the other things are all from damage that's why Makito hasn't been a successful pick for the tank position ever since that nerf came in. Right. There's literally no utility. Yeah. The only utility she, he has is that one knockoff, and that you need to land that. If you miss that, it's over. Yeah. But it is, it is some, somewhat memorable though. But my, my concern is that it, he can, you know, make a kind of play maybe to one person, and whereas if they go in one by one like that, as we said, they have a Kaja, they do have a stun from the far side as well. There's a lot of tools available That's to just stifle thing. this aggression. And so I, I figured that they would do better with the tank that can maybe engage full on, you know, something huge. I mean, kind of ironic, but maybe like a grab, right? They can just dash in and do, uh, you know, wreak havoc 
through the whole uh, through the whole the whole lineup of expiration and maybe get it messy that way and then maybe fair sake on the land club may have opportunities to capitalize on. They have to be very very careful again. I don't even if they're very very careful here, fair sake he has to be giga careful, okay? Mm -hmm. Because going against that Kaja, one misstep. Even if you're playing properly, you usually when you play assassins, you are still like more to the front side of the team fights. If Kaja is has his flicker, he can get all these crazy picks, so he has to remember to be careful there. And there are a lot of uh, players on the side of uh, Execration that has invulnerability, like that Lunox who can just mm, go away when Lancelot decides to go in, and that is going to be a major factor as well coming into this game. Execration. I think they're untouchable here with the Benedetta as well controlling the early game. There won't be a lot of punishment Lancelot can do to the enemy team. Not to mention, that, like we mentioned earlier, how Capno is very good at actually picking off. Because we saw the other day he went with the jawhead and he would use the ejector. He went, he flicked it into three people and yeah, he was still true. able to like target, target the, 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 the right, right person, one. get the mage, and actually get the priority targets that he wants. So that is now amplified with this Kaja because we know he is able to make these kind of these kinds of plays. Yeah, you're completely right. I mean, it's gonna be a tough one here for Evos, especially. I think at this stage, they also need to focus on being disciplined, guys. I okay. mean, take that objective. You're right. Discipline is the key. Respect yeah. is the key for Evo's Legends. As we saw a little bit there, an unpause happening. And now we're Ooh, gonna get straight into go. game number one again, guys. Here we go. Evo's Legends and Execration is in the finals of the lower brackets. Kill VJ will be able to clear that wave. And Verisic trying to do the same here with the help of Rexy. Yes, guys, and this is going to be a really important match because whoever loses goes to the third place and whoever wins goes up into the grand finals. So this is all or nothing situation here, and I want to see the greatest uh, gameplay here from both Evos and Execration. But here you see Kalra is just trying to clear her waves and Harith kind of stuck under tower. Yeah, again, just playing under the turret, playing safely, and that is Anti-Mage actually winning against Renzio in the top side, getting a lot of pressure as Glue has to move around the whole place there, the whole map, to get back to his lane. And look at that, he actually goes in in the top side. That is him taking very low, but again, it is E2 Max joining in. Anti-Mage caught in a bad situation right now as Renzio Ooh. goes in for a re-engage. Anti-Mage forced the flicker Ooh, away. No. E2 That's Max it. is right there. It will be Anti-Mage taken down. First blood by Execration. This was one of the winning conditions we mentioned earlier. Shut Anti-Mage down <laughs> from the get-go. Yes, you're super right here. And he had to go down there with a gank by Farsa. So yeah, that's the thing about Farsa. I mean, her mobility is super great. So she has the ability to roam around the map really quickly, faster than anyone else in the team. But look Ooh, at how low Rex is going. execution to E2 Max. He gets taken low, but LJ is there. And now it oh. will be a kill picked up by Rexy. An amazing flicker will secure that kill. As now they rotate towards Kelra. Kelra, you gotta be careful. He does have the flicker though. And now, oh no, Rexy gets slain as well. It will be a one for one trade as the turtle cam will come up by Razor because turtle has pawn and kill bj will have the better position here to contest this turtle yes start this turtle off you're super right as we see kill bj already oh. on that turtle but oh yeah first already going very very aggressive oh. on to chakra right now using a phantom execution and e2 max forcing lj to use that flicker but it oh, will be the turtle thrown away by first wow what a play the sun comes in and image looks for more but no they will just back away after that turtle what a retribution by the wonder kid See, that's the thing. This is what I wanted to see from EVOS Legends. You know, they just, they knew when to go in, took that turtle away, and yeah, there, they executed and they managed to get a turtle here, an objective here. You're right, and Fereshek, what a fast play right there. He went in so instantly and he just went back, going with a thorn rose, securing that turtle. An amazing play by EVOS Legends. Yes, perfect timing there, Miracle. But Arashi, any thoughts on this game so far? I think it's going quite even. Oh, oh kill BJ goes on to Rexy, but it will be traded back now. That first hit looking for a kill on the E2 Max will be able to get that. A trade of one for one as Anti-Mage joins the team fight on the Chaknu. But oh, Divine Judgment will pull LJ back to the turret to get another one, another favorable trade for the side of Execration. Yes, that was a one versus two situation there on that. Oh, oh but no! look at Clover and wow. he goes down. Yikes. Kira being super, super aggressive there in the bottom lane as he's trying to shut that hair down because he knows knows how crazy Clover can be on that Harith. Solo kill here by Kelra as we take a look at the items, Arashi. 
Well, everyone's still building up into their first Oh no, that might be a mistake here. Bayer's fight are being used, but it is onto two members as Hill VJ joins in the fight. Renzir tries to bring Anti Mage back, but he flickers onto the turret. Renzio gets taken low. Rexy is rotating to the top side. Renzio will be able to cancel Anti Mage's recall there, but Rexy will also rotate to zone the Execration players away from that turret. Yeah, I was going to say earlier that it's looking kind of even, but Execution has a lot of pick advantage because the Farsa has more Oh no! Oh, wait, whoa. is there a... Wait a minute, is Just there a connection saying. issue from Chakru there? Because he stays still and Clover now jumps onto Kelra knowing that his teammates are here to protect him. It will be Clover versus down though. He has to be careful. <gasps> Kelra picks up a kill. Jukes, Versic, and still stays alive here. Wow! The Brilliant of the Order buys a lot of time. Will it buy enough? No, it won't. It will be the kill picked up by Versic, but wow! Buying so much time and even getting a kill in a 3v1 situation as LJ now jumps on to kill BJ and kill BJ will be able to run away. Chaknu not able to cast that Divine Judgment. That was really well played by Kelra there. I mean, crazy and sick micro plays. But as you can see here, the Lord has already spawned and it is already at half health as X Creation will try to... Oh, but Feather Ooh, Airstrike goes up. And now LJ jumps in. Anti-Mage also to the backside. There's a lot of AoE damage, but Farisig is not able to do anything right Whoa. now. Trying to execute the two members. Going on to Renzio. The damage is there. It will be Anti-Mage taking the kill. But again, it is a favorable trade on the side of Execration. Getting the turtle and also getting two members for one. Yes, you're completely right. Two members for one, guys. And Clover here getting chased down by Kelra. That was very smart for Execration to actually focus there. Like, they, they have sent two people immediately to just stop Rexy from using the... Yeah. doing any damage in that fight and just burst them down. Yeah, look, again, KillVJ baits so many abilities. The Mon Force was used for nothing as KillVJ just gets away and now he's looking for the mid side. Yes, you're right here. And as you can see, Top turret is getting really pressured. I mean, Glue is losing to that Lapu Lapu, guys. Any thoughts on this matchup in particular? Glue and Lapu Lapu will have to wait because the Divine oh. Judgment has been used. The Defender Airstrike will just secure Whoa. a kill onto <sighs> Rexy. He has died four times in the fifth minute here. LJ looking for a gank, but again, Kelra just way too slick. Taknu is just so scary on that Kaja, guys. I mean, it's so difficult. Evos, they want to play aggressive towards their playstyle, but they're just getting punished at the stage. I think the issue is that they have less of a reliable engage on their side, because it is LJ, again, as, as Mirko mentioned on the Bukito, quite, yeah, quite unreliable card mm -hmm. control compared to the, the Kaja, who generally, at every time the cooldowns, uh, the ulti is off cooldown, can just get a, a pick with the Divine Judgment. I really dislike this Bukito pick. I mean, the an anti-mage on the Slapu Labu is a better engage and a better... Mm -hmm. s has better utility as well with his stun. He can okay. get way more and it is much bigger Whoa. there. Spherisic actually jumps onto Chaknu. Look at that! Oh, Ooh, it's so low! That was so, so close. Chaknu was looking for the Divine Judgment right there. Scary stuff here by Execration, but now another kill goes on. It is Clover getting dominated here in the bottom lane, guys. This is not something we are used to seeing. Clover, back in Indonesia, has always won the 1v1s. And here, he hasn't been able to get a single 1v1, two solo kills, and one gank, I mean, three deaths. Clearly, the set of Execration understands how Clover is so potent in the late game and wants to shut him down. But on the other hand, Anti-Mage on the Lapu Lapu actually has a lot of space Oh to no, Fair has to be careful oh. with the Judge will pull him to the team, and it is Execration pulling all the stops right now. Anti-Mage joins in, goes into Kelra for the Divine, but the Brilliant of the Order will still be there. Anti-Mage gets burst in, he flickers inside, a oh, big play oh, by oh. Anti-Mage! Whoa, what was that? He is caught in the middle of everything though. Renzio is still trying to pull him back, but what a play. Trading one for one, even though it was looking bad for Evos. Anti-Mage. Making the plays happen in I, this game. I was just mentioning how he has a lot more space to maneuver because they're putting a lot of attention onto Clover in that bottom side. Yes, and right. right there, with the tower taken, he has the advantage. He has more uh, the, the levels that he needs and just makes a huge play in that team fight. Yeah, you saw he was so, so low and he still decided to flicker in front with the stun, getting more and getting the healing done. Mm -hmm. As now Kill VJ rotates towards Anti Mage, trying to get a kill. But again, oh my god, Divine Judgment. And LJ has to back away because this is a disaster. LJ forced a flicker with that feather airstrike and now anti-mage caught in the 1v2 we've seen this before now he's going in the stun connects out to kill vj but oh. the damage is not there as kill vj still has a lot of abilities final oh. slash again and again anti-mage trying trying oh to God. win the fight but it will be a 
killing spree and the shut down for anti-mage right there. Yes, I mean at this stage, eight minutes in, Execration is looking already like they're leading each and every lane here, guys. I mean, look at the per turrets that they push at this stage. But Arashi, I want to know more about the yeah. items. Rexy uh, actually very smartly understands he's getting focused on this. Plenty of physical oh, damage. No. Oh no! Clover once again gets solo oh. killed. LJ gets pulled back. Real world manipulation, but LJ. Jumps him all the way there. Thorn Rose will be used onto Kelra right now. Rexy will be taken down by Kill VJ. It is a killing spree picked up by LJ. No, by, by Kelra right there. Parasek will be able to get that win as he gets a double kill for himself but another three for two trade here on the map. I mean, I was going to mention Rexy has a brute force press, but understand that he's getting focused on by Kill VJ. But in that fight, it just didn't matter. Kill VJ just wore out his HP bar and just takes him out before he can even make any meaningful play. Yes, you're right here. And now Turtle, sorry, Lord is already up, guys. I mean, nine minutes in, and it seems like that blue was trying to pressure that top lane, but Clover was right Ooh. there on the dot trying to zone him away. But guys, we have another technical pause here. We're not sure from which side it is coming from. We are not sure indeed. Perhaps the Evo's Legends side right here, as we will get that confirmation. Yes, it will be Evo's Legends having this technical issue and look at the faces of evil's legends so far they're not they're actually still pretty oh. thank you but it's a zero zero hello eh eh um okay maybe there's just a little it's bug fine, there it's fine, it's there's fine. a bug it just there's started, a glitch it just but started. the gold lead oh, is there go, still there for execration okay there, there you go. go it has loaded in okay. and um execration still in the lead eight kills ahead and they, they are uh, if i'm not mistaken two turtles as well ahead execration yes, with two right. turrets the evos legends is three turrets we'll see what they can do with this 1000 gold lead actually and Farsic and QBJ both doing really well actually it's the same level right now again there's there's still room for evos to actually make plays Yes, right, right execration here. opening the map and chapter goes for the device jump and feather strike being used. Clover now pauses upon forces Kel J and Ferrisic jumps to the backside, but again, Renzio is right Ooh. there. Clover is caught. Purify used, but Clover will still be taken down. It is going to be kill picked up by Renzio as oh. Ferrisic secures the killing spree of his own. anti is going on to Kelra, getting the kill and jumping back. Renzio will look for a re-engage, but for now it is a two for two. LJ still just going back and forth with Renzio. Yes, you're right here. They have oh, not an advantage. Okay, there's still 4v3 situation here on the map as Lord is already up, but it seems like Renzo and Anti-Mage are just trying their best to clear that minil, minil, middle minion. And this is what I was talking about earlier. They actually sacrificed Clover technically and they do pick up Kelra and Chakunu, so that's worth a right. worthwhile trade for them. If they can keep doing that, technically it's still a, a possible play for the side of Evos. Yeah, you're right. Evos Legends, they need to play very conservatively, looking for picks all across the map, because right now, Execration, they still have the lead. Although it is already a 1,000 only gold lead for the side of Execration, a lead is a lead, and we've seen how crazy Execration can go, especially in the team fights in the mid-game. Yeah, I can see here, Evos Legends already rotating for that Lord. Oh. As you can see... Wait, ooh. they're just going to start this up. It is actually Kill VJ in the top side going against Anti-Mage, and this will be most probably Evos Legends taking this, but look at LJ, already taking very low, Clover Force uses his Force oh. to the friend, and Airstrike comes in, but E2 Max will be the target. He's gonna get. No! It's Ferrisic shut down! Clover looks oh for it, but God. the Lord oh, no. has been slain by Execration! A disaster for Evo's Legends here! That's a catastrophe of events. Oh my god. And with that pressure, they're taking down that third tier turret oh, there. Oh no! And a monster kill. You're right, and Anti Mage gets picked up as well. Execration just pushing everything. 5,000 gold lead looking for the turret in the 11th minute. Remember, this is exactly how Blacklist beat them yesterday in the 12th minute and execration with this huge lead now. I think they're just going to end it for the next team fight. They still have a big minion wave in the bottom side, so they're going to try and use it to get the power as well. And there's not much Evo Legends can do, especially since Anti-Mage is still 5 seconds away from respawn. Yes, I mean, Lord is already halfway there in the top lane, guys. And it seems like Execration here now trying to keep that pressure oh, oh, on the middle Versa of the bottom lane. Still but... able to jump in and jump backwards, as now it will be Anti-Mage in the front of everything, in the midst of everything, oh but the reload of the should be used. Anti-Mage still buying a lot of time on the kill stream, oh, secured by Kelly. Now Renzio brings LG back to the team, but LG will be able to dash away. Now Renzio is the target. He will be taken down. It is a kill picked up by Clover, as it is a one-for-one -one trade for the side of Evo's Legends. But the Lord has spawned on the top side, a turn up. Yeah, it looks quite good. I mean, Evo's put a really good defense. Oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Ferrisic gets deleted right there. 
there. Execration looking for something. Zaman Force has been popped. The brilliance of the order is still there. Kill BJ looking for the final bullet to the backside. Low versus still dashing away, doing a lot of damage. But now he's actually outplaying Kill BJ. He gets a kill. He gets a shutdown. But he is traded back. A four for two trade. As Rexy is the only man standing. There is Anti Mage who has just respawned. But again, Execration getting all the better picks here as the turrets are pushing on every single wave. Chaknu looking for the Divine Judgment on the Anti Mage. And now for the airship, he used Raven Spider as well to Kelra. Realize the order is still there. Jumps on the Chaknu as Rexy follows it up. Sun oh. connects, but it's not enough damage. Kelra picks up an unstoppable. A double Parasic kill is up. for Kelra. Parasic is now up. Will he be able to defend this base? It looks like he will for the time being. Yes, you're right here. Parasic doing all he can. And he goes in for that Chaknu, but Chaknu still manages oh. to escape with such a sliver of health. And they are being able to clear that middle lane. So, guys, another day to the defense the, that defense by EVOS Legends here as Execration is forced to retreat and maybe they have to do something around another Lord, guys. But here, the item builds are already up and I want to know what you think, Arashi. Well, Kara has a full item, like full full items at this point mm -hmm. and we saw the amount of damage is huge. And as, as always, Chaknu with the fleeting time just having insane pick potential. And from the side of EVOS, it's just very measly items built here. They're like at least at most they have three items each and no one really has a huge advantage. Oh no, anti mage getting chunked there is LJ now trying to run away, split split being used onto anti mage, trying to look for a pick onto anti mage so kill VJ joins in the team fight. Anti mage will be able to dash away from that one. LJ will be killed oh, by no. Kelra once again. Anti mage oh, brought no. to his team, but it's going to be a kill picked up. Clover now dashes in. It will be the real revelation. Kill VJ gets taken down. Clover still winning this team fight right now. It is three for no, it's two for one right now as Renzio jumps onto Clover, going to be able to dash. All the way, Clover gets picked off. Oh, Renzio oh. with this group pick is insane. And now it will be Evo's Legends on the defense. Chaknu looks for the Divine Judgment, but Parasic still able to run away, still able to clear the minions, but he will be taken oh. down finally by E2 Max. Immortality by Parasic tries to jump around. Rexy will be the final target that falls down. And the game number one will be taken by Execration by Storm. Guys, wow. what a crazy match. I mean, game one, that was hella intense and quite long, considering with how many pauses that we got there. Once the pause just uh, <laughs> was over, like, they that, just all was... made plays. Like, 